Climate change could lead to increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. This is not the first time we've heard about this. Climate change will lead to an increase in earthquakes across the globe, scientists say, and what is another reason to be afraid of global warming? Sean Martin Express UK reports. Since 1975, we've been in a warming spell at alarming rate, and scientists stating that the global temperature has risen roughly 0.15 to 0.20 degrees centigrade per decade. While this figure seems low, global warming is undoubtedly having an effect on the polar ice caps because they're continuing to melt. Since 1979, the volume of ice in the Arctic, that's the North Pole, has shrunk by an astonishing 80%. 80% and we've seen tremendously high temperatures there as well. We don't know why that's happening. But scientists have warned this will not just cause sea levels to rise, there's other things that will have be happening. Researchers now recognize that melting ice chaos could cause another major threat. It's because the thawing of the ice caps allows more movement in the tectonic plates beneath the surface and that allows them to release stress which has been building up for millennia, and therefore that would cause earthquakes. Website Science Focus says, earthquakes occur when the huge tectonic plates that make up the Earth's crust slip and grind past each other along fault lines, and an increase in an area of land where the thick ice cover, such as Greenland or Antarctica, the immense weight of that layer of ice, a few thousand meters thick, may prevent plates from moving freely, so therefore we have less earthquakes. If this ice were to melt, the plates could shift, releasing pent-up energy and potentially trigger earthquakes. What this means is that there is, where there is ice, the earth around these freezing patches is essentially constricted, but when the ice melts away, the surrounding zones become looser, and that allows for more seismic activity because the tectonic plates move around. Climate change is also affecting volcanic eruptions, according to previous research. It's because the ice sheets and glaciers can help maintain the structure of volcanoes and mountains. And when they're freed from the pressure, that's when things start to change. Glocino Roberti, a PhD student at the University of Clermont Auvergne, says, imagine the ice like some sort of protective layer. When the ice melts away, the mountain is free to collapse. If your mountain is a volcano, you have another problem. Volcanoes are a pressurized system, and if you remove pressure by ice melting and landslides, you have a problem. Professor David Rothery, a geoscientist at Open University, said this new research nicely demonstrates that if you change the load on a volcanic mountain, for example by removing the ice, or some ice, the likelihood of mechanical collapse and possible ensuing eruption will be slightly increased. Eruptions are triggered by a complex array of factors. He says, I suspect that many eruptions caused by glacial melting might happen eventually anyway, given enough time, but this feature shows that warnings could increase, the warming could increase the chances of those eruptions happening sooner rather than later. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.